In this video, we're going to walk through the steps to perform a catch test and a spread pattern test on the Umberforth Proforce lineup of dry spreaders. First, we will perform a catch test. A catch test is an important test which verifies that we are putting down the correct rate with our spreader. With the spinners turned off, disconnect the spinner control valve to ensure that our spinners do not turn while performing our catch test. If equipped with a catch test chute, this may be installed now following the supplied instructions. Now we need to fill the spreader with the desired dry material, such as fertilizer, lime, or compost. Before we can begin the test, we need to verify correct product density and gate height. Also included with your Pro 4 spreader is a product density tool. To collect the product density, simply fill product into the tool, but do not pack the product in tightly. Move the level until it is exactly in the center and perfectly level. The number on the tool shows the product density of the dry material you are working with. Next, we need to verify that the rear gate is at the correct height. For this test, we are using a gate height of 2 inches. Place a catch container underneath the rear of the spreader. Next, we need to charge the conveyor. To do this, run the conveyor until product is collecting in the catch container. Turn off the belt over chain conveyor and discard any material that may have fallen into our catch container or return it back into the spreader hopper. With the catch container completely empty, place it on a scale and zero out the weight. After zeroing out the scale, we need to place the container back underneath the rear of the spreader just below the spinner disc. Now we need to jump into the tractor cab and go to our virtual terminal screen. Select the settings screen notated by the gears icon on the right hand side of the screen. Then proceed to the system settings screen by selecting the tools icon at the top of the page. Once you have entered the system settings screen, select the rate sensor setup option. Now you need to select PR1 for the main conveyor. To adjust the product density, type in the measured number from the product density tool on the tractor virtual terminal screen and select the products that it applies to. If your spreader is equipped with an optional duo, tri, or quad force multi-bin accessory, we'll need to enter the product density number for each hopper. After entering your product density, we can select catch test calibration at the bottom of the screen to begin our catch test. A warning message will pop up stating that machine motion will occur and we will need to select the green check mark to continue. Now we need to select a representative test speed. It is recommended to use the speed you plan to operate the spreader at. Next, you need to select the rate shown in pounds per acre. It is recommended to use the value of your desired application rate. Then select the desired weight shown in pounds to be dispensed during the catch test and enter the desired amount. It is recommended to collect as much material as your container can hold to ensure an accurate test. Now we can page over. Turn the master on by hitting the foot switch and then click start to begin our catch test. With the spinner disc still completely full from earlier, we can start the belt over chain conveyor to dispense product into the catch container. After dispensing the desired amount of product, place the catch container onto the scale and note the displayed weight. In this case, our container has caught 286 pounds of dry material and our target was 300 pounds. Now we can jump back into the tractor cab and click on actual amount applied in the calibrate rate sensor screen. Here we will enter the 286 pounds that we recorded from the scale that we weighed the container on. The screen will then display the actual amount applied in pounds, what the old spreader constant was, and what the new spreader constant is. We will need to repeat this process for each hopper if your spreader is equipped with an optional duo, tri, or quad force multi-bin accessory. Now we can plug the spinner control valve back in. If your Umberforth Pro 4 spreader is equipped with an optional Isobus scale package, you can calibrate the scales directly from the tractor's virtual terminal screen. Select the gear icon on the right hand side of the screen and then select the system settings option notated by the tools icon at the top of the screen. 
Now choose Scale Setup and then choose Scale Calibration on the next page. On this screen, we can select the field that says Actual and enter the known weight from a certified scale that was loaded into the spreader hopper. It is recommended to calibrate to a full load to ensure the most accurate calibration. Next, we can select Previous and enter the weight that was showing on the scale screen. This is the same number as the current scale weight listed towards the top of the screen. After those two values are entered, you can click Calibrate. On the next screen, click on the check mark in the lower right corner to complete the scale calibration. Now you will see that the current scale weight has changed to match your certified weight and the scale calibration process is complete. Now we're ready to perform a spread pattern test with your Umberforth Pro 4 spreader. The purpose of a spread pattern test is to verify we are spreading material evenly and to determine the effective spread width. Please locate the black storage box that was shipped with your spreader and remove the contents. Remove the lid from each test tube, place them in the flat plate with holes in it, skip a hole on each side of the center test tube to represent the pans that will be removed for the tire path of the tractor. Next, remove the orange decals and place them on the sides of one of the white catch pans. Now we can take the rope with a stake tied to each end and string it out until it is tight and stake it down. Locate the center line of the rope which is designated by a piece of red tape. Place the white catch pan with the orange reflective decals at this center point. Place the remaining white catch pans at each black mark which are 5 feet apart. Remove any catch pans that are in the path of the tractor tires. It is important to ensure that each catch pin is as level as possible before performing your spread pattern test. The recommended spinner speed is 650 RPM for fertilizer and 550 RPM for lime. Now you are ready to drive across the catch pans while spreading the dry product from the hopper. It is important that the driver find the center pan that is marked with the orange tape and keep that point in the center of the tractor as you cross the catch pans. Take the test tube platform and pour each catch pin into the corresponding test tube by using the funnel provided in the kit. The catch pan located to the far left hand side of the rope should be poured into the test tube on the far left side of the test tube platform. Each catch pan is then poured into the corresponding test tube as you work your way down the rope. Now we can place the test tube platform on a flat surface and evaluate the spread pattern results in our test tubes. We should see consistent dry product in each test tube across the entire plate until we get out to the ends, where it should taper down. If we see a pattern that is high in the center and tapers down too quickly, or a pattern that is low in the center and tapers up, we can make a quick adjustment at the back of the spreader to adjust the spread pattern. Slide out the spinner table and locate the heim joint connection. If your spread pattern is high in the center and tapers down, we need to move the spinner assembly more towards the front of the spreader by lengthening the heim joint. If your spread pattern is low in the center and tapers up, we need to move the spinner assembly more towards the rear of the spreader by shortening the heim joint. For lime application, the spinner dishes can be adjusted by moving between the four holes located on the back of the spinner assembly. Once adjustments are made, we can perform another spread pattern test until we achieve the desired pattern. For more information, please refer to your Umberforth Pro Force Dry Spreader Operator's Manual.